Welcome to People to People. I'm Micah Mater. Let's get started. We're kicking off Black History Month with a salute to the Kwanzaa principle of Ujamaa, cooperative economics. It's the idea of circulating the black dollar within the black community by spending with black businesses. One organization is challenging Chicagoans to do just that this month. Our first guest today is Sybil Holloway, founder of Sib's Breakfast Club. Sybil, thanks for joining us again. Nice to see you. Thank you for having me. How are you dealing during this pandemic? I'm dealing. <laughs> it's been rough. It has been rough. It's teaching everybody to evolve. Yeah, exactly. And that yeah. that kind of brings us to this uh, this challenge that Sibs Breakfast Club is putting out there. It's going to be a little bit different this year, but even more important because of the pandemic, yeah. right? Exactly. Exactly. You want me to tell you about the challenge? Please. So it's called hashtag. 20 slash 21. What that means is I ask that everyone spend at least $20 at five black owned businesses. Now, are the businesses open? I mean, are there a lot open? Can you do this virtually? Can you do this online? Virtually, there are online businesses, there are restaurants that are doing takeout, Uber Eats, but as long as we're doing that, it's going to change the numbers economically for black businesses. Tell me how black businesses have been really suffering during this pandemic, more so than others. I've seen a lot of my members of Sibs Breakfast Club close down. It's been really sad. And of course, we know the restaurant business as a whole has taken a tremendous hit. That's why I'm focusing on restaurants at this time. And you guys started back in 2008. Tell us a little bit about the Breakfast Club for those who don't know. Sibs Breakfast Club was founded in 2008, and what I would do for 10 years, would I would go to a different Black-owned restaurant, real estate office, law office, doctor's office, and ask, and I would bring about 150 to 200 people out. And what we would do is the sole purpose was to help make that business money and give them more exposure. And so this is your continuation of that. Tell us also about Black Business Restaurant Week, or Black Restaurant Week, I should say, because that's a part well, of this. Yes, well, Black Chicago Eats with Tour Muhammad. He has, he's been, he's focusing on restaurants. So I wanted to push towards his website so that we can find Black businesses to support, patronize. Now, a lot of people may not know businesses that are black owned how do they find out which ones they can go to i and would say go to blackchicagoeats.com and, and everything is all is, of the black owned restaurants in the chicago area are there now we've been talking about restaurants suffering and businesses but other places as well dusable museum i was this just, just there this week a lot of people mm -hmm. are coming out because of it and a lot of things are closing missing out on a lot of culture not just dusable but others as well what are some ones that uh, we need to tell folks about what I wanted to do was focus on a lot of the black artists, the black art, and what do Sabo Museum means to our Chicago community. So I want to ask that they're celebrating 60 years. Mm. So I want to ask to push, go to dosabomuseum.com and get a membership. And that would tremendously assist that amazing museum. Yeah, well, tell us more about Dusabo because it's the only black museum that we have in the city, in Chicago. right? Chicago, Yeah, it there's is. art there, there's history there. You can learn about so much of our black culture. Yeah, so I, I really, really hope that so many people would get a membership there. And the that, membership is $50. Okay, I was, like I said, I was there this week and it's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's and people don't even know what's beautiful. there. They don't, they're running to DC but we have this right here in Chicago. Exactly, to go see the Smithsonian, mm -hmm. which there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but, so but we want to do this as well. <laughs> well. Now, we need to tell folks that black owned businesses are all across the city of Chicago, not and just- And all across the, not just, yeah, what do you mean? Like just everywhere. Exactly, exactly. So there's north, south, east, west, everywhere, not just, yes. some people may think it's just the south side of Chicago, but that's not true, is it? Oh, we have Northside, Evanston, M Matheson, Olympia Fields. We, we need to help keep these businesses open if we can. They're amazing, and they need us right now. All right, Sybil Holloway, thank you so much. You can thank follow you. and interact with the challenge by using the hashtag 20 21.